The UTBB Falcons were looking to pick up their second win of the season against WT tonight at Kimbrough Stadium in Canyon, Texas. It was WT's homecoming game. The Falcons were looking to be the spoiler. Hello everyone, I'm Jaden Hart here with My Falcon Radio. The Falcons played the Buffs very close in the first half, but ultimately fell short to West Texas A&M. Let's take a look at the highlights from that game. The Falcon captains taking the field at Kimbrough Stadium in Canyon, Texas to face West Texas A&M in their homecoming game. First possession in the first quarter for the Falcons. Noel finds Kyle McBride up the sideline wide open and McBride would turn on the Jets. And he got the Falcons off to a hot start early, 7-0. Here the Falcons, after a three and out, are trying to punt the ball away. West Texas A&M, however, blocks the kick and they get it down in the Falcons or in the red zone. And then running back Duke Carter making a few moves here and he would find the end zone, evening things up at 7-all. Second quarter, Justin Hotling finds Jordan Johnson in the end zone. West Texas A&M takes a 14-7 lead. Later in the second quarter, Tobias Harris, the multi-tool for the Buffs, getting a kick return here, and he's going to make a couple of moves and find the end zone. West Texas A&M took control in the second quarter, and it was all their game, 21 to seven. The Falcons responded. Noel finding Matt Zubiati in the end zone. Falcons cut the lead to 21 to 14. Right before halftime, Cam Mathis enters the game. He goes over on the quarterback draw to the right-hand side, and he would even things up. 21 all going into halftime, but in the second half, it was all West Texas A&M and it was the Duke Carter show. Carter with the touchdown there. And then Carter makes a little bit of a cut, bounces his outside. That's his third touchdown of the game. And then what was probably the best play of the game, Duke Carter hurdles over a Falcon there and he makes it after fighting off a few tackles in the end zone for his fourth touchdown. The Falcons offense could not get things going in this ball game and was held to just 42 yards of total offense. And West Texas A&M ultimately prevailed, beating UTBB 42 to 21. In the game, Taylor Knoll, 12 of 28, 194 yards and two touchdowns. Marquis Simmons, 10 carries, 44 yards. Kyle McBride, two receptions, 125 yards in the touchdown. And as I said, Cam Mathis entered the game right before halftime and scored on the two yard line for West Texas A&M. Duke Carter IV, 29 carries, 143 yards and four touchdowns. With tonight's loss, the Falcons are now one in five overall this season and one in three in Lone Star Conference play. This was the last time that the Falcons would face West Texas A&M at Kimbrough Stadium in Canyon. West Texas A&M is getting a new stadium in 2019, and the Falcons won't be coming back to Canyon until 2020. Next week, the Falcons will be back at Ratliff Stadium to take on non-conference opponent Humboldt State for their homecoming game before starting the back half of the Lone Star Conference schedule with Angelo State coming to Grande the following week. We'll see if the Falcons can bounce back next week. Until then, I'm Jaden Hart signing off for My Falcon Radio.